Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be reacting to the Garfield movie trailer. This is an animated movie that is coming out next year. Sony produced. I didn't know that actually. Um, but I wanted to watch this trailer because um, last year when the Super Mario movie trailer came out, there was a lot of internet discourse about Chris Pratt as a voice actor and should he be voice acting and is he overrated as a voice actor. So I want to watch this trailer just to kind of get my initial reactions of how this movie is going to be. And then towards the end of this video, I'm going to make a little like rant about like celebrity voice actors and tell you guys a little bit about my opinion on those. But yeah, so let's go ahead and just dive into the trailer. You hungry little guy? Pizza. He better eat lasagna at some point in this movie. Aww. I guarantee you they're gonna make stuffed animals of that baby Garfield so that they can make a shit ton of money off the toys and stuff. Spaghetti! So this animation style is actually like really weird to me because like oh it kind of feels like oh. like cloudy with a chance of meatballs low key hey, buddy. i don't know something about the way that the people look just makes me kind of uncomfortable to be honest you i'm so intrigued about why they're spending so much time on when he was a baby <laughs> you want a little more there we go. Okay. I, I was like, this is going to go well. Woo! Lasagna! Okay, perfect. Beautiful. And that's oh, how I adopted John. And, and he tastes okay, exactly like... And he sounds exactly like Chris Pratt, but that's okay. Ow, it's so hot. Ow, it's really hurting. Ow, ow, ow. You deserve to be seen with somebody as bright. Say when. Never, John. Marry me in cheese. Oh. I apologize in advance. The eating you're about to see will not be pretty. And if you have young children, this would be a good time for them to leave the room. You ain't never seen nobody this Samuel Jackson. Hey, Junior. This is Vic, my father. You ever jumped a train? I've never jumped. Here's that stop. Really? Where? <laughs> You think he'd see that coming? Let's get it. I deserve to be with somebody as right me. Uh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh. Oh, it's really hurting. I don't know what this promo is, but I think that at this point the trailer is not anything interesting. Okay, um, so that was uh, a trailer. Um, I kind of like completely went mute during like the last half of it because I'm so like hyper focused on the fact that like they really, they really get Chris Pratt to do voice acting for things and then just have him sound like Chris Pratt and it drives me insane. I will say this. I think for the Mario movie, it worked relatively well. For this, I don't think I'm going to be able to like, I think it breaks the immersion of the movie. The fact that he's just going to sound like Chris Pratt. That being said, Samuel L. Jackson is going to be in this. That's fun. Love Samuel L. Jackson and everything that he's in. Um... I don't know how I feel about this movie so far. It kind of looks like it's going to be a little bit of an action-adventure type movie. Maybe, like, Secret Life of Pets. Maybe, like, uh, the movie Bolts forever ago. Um, I don't know. The fact that they're on a train is really interesting to me. The fact that they're, like, seeming to be going to, like, some campground that's, like, in the middle of nowhere seems a little interesting to me. Um, I think that this movie's going to be funny. I think Chris Pratt is a very hilarious guy, and I think Samuel L. Jackson also is a very hilarious guy. So they should bounce off of each other relatively well. And I'm sure that for a Garfield movie, Garfield started off as like comics for the most part, um, in like the Sunday papers and stuff like that. That's where I know Garfield from. So I'm hoping this movie's going to be funny. Right now, it's like, it seems like it's kind of going to be funny, but it also seems like, I don't know, th this trailer didn't really give us a lot of the humor aspect and what to expect in it. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully it's kind of like a buddy cop movie though. And there is some kind of like cool, fun adventure that Garfield is going with his father and it makes it, you know, all worthwhile and it's going to be a great movie. But as of right now, I'm kind of like, I don't, I don't, I don't see a super huge appeal in this. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I, like I said, the two main actors are funny people, so I'm sure it's going to be funny, but, um, that's crazy to me. Um, what I will say though, however, um, it's Sony. So, you know, Sony's great. I think so Sony's so good. They they're the ones making all the 
into the Spider-Verse movies. Now, that being said, I don't know who's writing this or directing this or anything like this. So, um, that being said, that's pretty much all I got to say about this trailer. It was so quick and fast, and there wasn't a lot to it. Um, the fact that they spent a minute building up to the joke of, you know, Garfield just eating everything in the entire Italian food restaurant. Interesting. I, I was very confused when the that was the opening to the trailer, and it kept going on for that long, because I was like, I feel like we're not even going to see baby Garfield in the movie for that long, but you know what? It's okay. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's going to it's gonna be an okay movie. That trailer didn't really do anything for me. Like, it doesn't make me feel very excited about the movie, and it doesn't make me have a clue as to what the movie is going to be about at all. So, that being said, that's pretty much all for the trailer reaction. I'm going to now talk to talk about the, um, what's it called? Celebrity voice actor thing that I want to talk about. So, um... I just want to make a little rant here because it's it's not going to be anything super long. I'm going to try to keep it short and condensed. Um, personally, I think celebrity voice acting needs to, like, stop. And the reason I say this is because um, a lot of times what is happening, and especially what's been happening recently, and Chris Pratt is very much one of the, like, main people who this keeps happening with, is a lot of times movies are getting to a point where they just select famous actors to be in their movie so that they can say this famous actor is in their movie. And it drives me insane because it loses a lot of the passion for the project. It loses a lot of, um, like I said, the immersion for this. It's going to be completely broken because it just sounds like Chris Pratt as Chris Pratt. And uh, it really bothers me because it's like Chris Pratt is a talented actor and he could probably do a lot of different range and a lot of different voices. But for the most part, they probably are just casting him for his name and they're making him sound mostly like himself. Like um, for the Mario movie, it was a big debate about like oh my god why is he not even doing an italian accent and like obviously you watch an entire movie of him doing that italian accent it would probably drive you insane but i think the big thing was they told him not to do that and i think that the garfield movie is probably another case of he kind of sounds vaguely like garfield so they're probably like yeah we just want you to you know sound like yourself because you sound like garfield and um part of me i kind of hate it also oh my god that is a massive olive garden uh what's it called product placement i don't even know how i missed that earlier that's kind of hilarious anyways um, but yeah, so part of the reason why I wanted to talk about this, though, is because I've been playing um, Spider-Man 2, and I think that the voice actor for Peter Parker and the voice actor for Miles Morales in that game are both really, really good at their jobs, and I think it's insane that, like, some voice actors like them and um, other voice actors who are primarily voice actors keep losing their jobs a little bit to some of these big celebrity voice actors, and I think it's kind of sad because some of them, especially with the case of, like, Chris Pratt they're just casting him for his name value. They're not casting him because they think that he's a great voice actor because he can voice the character well. And uh, I, think it's, I think it's really depressing. Um, another person who I do want to talk about, though, there are a couple of people who are really great at the voice acting. They completely change their voice for the character. And I think that that works really well. Like, if there's a person who can voice multiple characters and you not be able to tell that they're the same voice actors or whatever, that's fine. Like, Bradley Cooper as Rocket Raccoon in the Marvel movies or whatever is fantastic. I think that he's really, really good in that. Um, Vin Diesel as Groot, which I know that those are both just Guardians of the Galaxy references, but, like, Vin Diesel went so far deep into that, like, character, and he played the baby Groot and the, like, teenage Groot as well, which I think is just hilarious. Um, but yeah, so those, those are kind of okay, like, if you can tell that it's not the same actor. I have actually got one specific example that I want to give. Um, Scarlett Johansson. She has some movies where she is a really good voice actress, and you could, like, not really fully tell that it's her, and she's really doing a good, you know, different voice for the character that matches the character well. Like, the Sing movies, I think, is a very solid movie that, um, shows off her voice acting, but then if you watch the live-action Jungle Book movie that came out, um, I want to say, like, five or six years ago or something like that, she voices, I think the, the character's name is, like, Ra or something like that. It's, like, some snake, and she literally just sounds like herself, and it literally took me out of that entire movie because, that scene came on, and I was like, why is Scarlett Johansson seducing somebody as a snake right now? What the fuck is happening? And so, that being said, um, I really wish that we would get back to, like, voice actors being voice actors, and regular actors being regular actors, and, like, them mixing occasionally, when there's something where it's, like, one voice up for a specific character would be perfect by this character, by this actor, or whatever, but that's not what's happening. Future editing Blake chiming in here, there was one, one reason why I wanted to make a little subsection of this video talking about why celebrity voice actors bother me and i completely forgot to say the one thing that i actually wanted to say um so chris pratt specifically mario movie last year during the mario movie press tour um there was a lot of press and stuff going on and part of the reason why i also think that big time celebrities shouldn't be doing voice acting roles is chris pratt wasn't able to do any press for his Mario movie that came out last year because he was too busy to do it. And it really bothers me because every time I go back and I rewatch all those like cast interactions, it almost feels like Chris Pratt wasn't even a part of the Mario movie. It doesn't feel like he spent a lot of time with the cast. And it really felt odd to me because you'd watch all those interviews and it feels like 
Jack Black was the star of the movie, and then all the people all, like, had a lot of interactions with Jack Black, and it almost seemed like nobody even, like, addressed the fact that Chris Pratt wasn't there, and I understand that it's because he had scheduling conflicts, and he was busy, and he was doing other things, but it just feels so weird to me every time I watch those press things, and I feel like that's a problem you wouldn't have if you have somebody who is a voice actor who is dedicated to their voice acting, as opposed to an actor who might be busy filming things on set where they have to be there. Um, but yeah, that was all I wanted to say. I'm going to let uh, past self uh, finish this outro. But yeah, that being said, that was it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Thank you guys for sticking around for this little rant. I know that this rant has nothing to do with this video or this trailer, but I just wanted to make it. Um, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate you guys. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace out. Bow, bow, bow. Love with the girls with the kisses. Don't give a damn all riddance. I like this when I run the distance. I run the fine kids go for listings. I wanna live within the business. Buying more than what's on the clearances. You're getting big because I know you're a physicist. I wanna deny this shit. I'm unlimited.